We tend to forget that there are so many millions of Nigerians out there who have never been to the airport and may never ever been to the airport in their lifetime. Most people when they fly, they look at the different airlines and uh, they choose to say, okay, this one is charging 80,000 to Abuja, this one is charging 60, this one is charging 55. I need, I'm going to pay. <laughs> I need to look so, at my pocket. We have technical problems, we have airplanes down, we have pilot shortages, we have everything, and nobody bothers to be planned. So they hope to manage the situation. The basic difference between crash landing and, um, and uh, emergency landing and precautionary landing and also an, an abnormal landing. So what the uh, consultant does really is visa advisory and guidance. So we guide you on the documents required, when to apply. Duty of the pilot is to try and uh, allay their fears by uh, giving them the history of the flight. It's not a big deal that you're sitting in that hot Airports are not cool though. They are hot space. They don't offer you water. You've passed break lunch time. They, nobody's offered you lunch. Nobody's taking care of So we have real customer service issues led primarily by poor management. Hi, welcome to your number one aviation and tourism TV show, Mama J TV. My name is Joy Ugbebo. Today, we are going to continue on our discussion talking about the difference between a crash landing and an emergency landing. In the last episode, Captain Ado Sanusi ed was educating us on the difference between a crash landing and an emergency. We couldn't finish because of time, so we are going to continue today. So make sure you stick around. We'll be back after this break. is people have to understand there is uh, emergency landing, there is crash landing, there is abnormal landing, there is precautionary landing. All are different. There are times when you have a, fly, uh, a bird strike and in the cockpit you smell burnt bird and you feel that, look, the parameters on the engine doesn't look uh, good for me to continue. Let's say you're coming in from Kano to, to, uh, to Lagos, and you can land precautionary uh, in Abuja for the engineers to check it out and do a boroscope on the engine to make sure that the engine is perfect. Those are the things, but unfortunately, when somebody lands and there's a tire bust, they say he has crash landed. When somebody lands and... Um, uh, he lost all hydraulics, so he cannot uh, taxi out of the runway. Say the guy has crash landed. Crash landing, you must have one of these two. The pilot lose control, no matter how close to the ground he is, he lose control and he, he doesn't have control of the airplane and the airplane hits the runway or the tarmac or whatever. And there is substantial damage to the aircraft. That is when a crash landing occurs. A precautionary landing is the pilot decided that continuing the flight might jeopardize safety. So I'm going to put the airplane in the next suitable airport. And uh, uh, an emergency landing, it's a, a landing that you don't plan for. It's probably you, you've taken off and the tire busted in the tire compartment. So you have to do an emergency landing. Or you try to bring down the landing gears, this is the tires, and the, the tires refuse to come down, then you have to do an emergency landing. Of course, an emergency landing can turn to be a crash landing. If the pilot loses control, or if after you have landed, you veered off the wrong way, and there is substantial damage to the aircraft. But as far as if the pilot continues the airplane, controls the airplane to the ground, and there is no substantial damage, it's an emergency landing. For instance, if uh, you lose the two, the powers to the two engines, they are, they, they, uh, they, there is an emergency, emergency landing. Bear in mind that the tires or the wheels or the landing gears are designed to absorb a lot of energy. 
After the, after the landing gears, then you have the wings. The wings are designed also to absorb energy. After the wings, then you have the fuselage. The fuselage is also designed to absorb energy, but not as much as the wing, not even the landing gear. The landing gear is really designed to absorb huge amount of energy. So aircrafts are built in a very safe manner to absorb a lot of energy on landing. You can imagine. Sometimes 80 tons is coming down to land. So that energy is a lot. So the gears are, are, are designed to absorb energies. The, the, the wings are designed to absorb energy. The fuselage where the human beings are inside is also designed to absorb energy, but not as much as the wings and the, uh, and the landing gear. So that is why you see that pilots usually prefer to, to lose the landing gear than to, to lose a wing. Because you're always trying to save the fuselage from having contact because it cannot absorb as much energy as what the landing gear will absorb uh, or the, the wing will absorb. So I hope I've clarified between emergency landing, crash landing, precautionary landing, emergency and um, uh, abnormal landings. Well, I hope you found today's show very informative and educative. Because of time, we are not going to be able to conclude on this show. So we promise to continue on the next show. So make sure you don't miss it. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channels on all our social media platforms. Bye.